prevalence or the incidence of severe sepsis in an intensive care unit? Um, there's now been a lot of uh, epidemiology studies from a number of different countries, and typically it's between somewhere, usually between 10 and 15 percent of all ICU patients have severe sepsis. Uh, different ICUs, if they're medical or surgical, might have a higher number of patients admitted with severe sepsis versus those who develop severe sepsis from nosocomial infections. Most of the studies are in adults. In terms of the raw number of patients per population, severe sepsis is more of a problem in adults. Um, children get infections, but they don't usually get severe sepsis. They have very healthy organ systems, etc. Uh, the exception might be neonatal. Uh, severe sepsis is definitely still a problem of neonates. As a clinician or a manager of clinicians, um, what I like about the new guidelines is I really like the process by which the guidelines were written. It gives me a far higher comfort level. It was a very explicit, transparent process. And so it gives, I think that if you build educational interventions on the basis of the new guidelines, I would have a, a high comfort level about doing these educational interventions in my institution, trying to target the nursing staff, trying to co combat, um, trying to target my colleagues in the emergency department, etc.